Hello and welcome to another video about the module that I've um, recently created, uh, the Capture the Flag module. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly how uh, the new uh, iteration, uh, the new code that I've uh, just released for this works. Uh, so at the current, uh, at this video, the code that's released is the 0 0.8 alpha and uh, let me show you exactly how that works so actually if you don't know what uh, this module is the capture the flag capture the flag um, module uh, or what it does uh, there'll be a little video here or here it should pop up and it will show you exactly what this does so let's turn it on And the, the differences uh, right from the start are when you plug it in, it will show you the current mode that it's on. So four white LEDs turn on and then uh, it cycles through the, all the lights available and then shows you that it's ready to go uh, on the first game. The system is completely automatic. If you set up all, the, uh, all your preferences in the code when you upload it all you need to do is power it on it will show you the mode that's currently on as you saw cycle through all of the LEDs show you that it's ready to play the first game and there's a timer now also new things uh, inbuilt in the system which means that when the timer is over the game will finish it will show you the score depending on what type of game you're playing and then it will reset and show you that it's ready to play game two and so on and so forth. And when it runs out of LEDs, it just resets back to game one. So if I turn on a little uh, tiny whoop next to this, it should start detecting it. So game uh, uh, mode four means it's a single player capture the flag game. Uh, which means that when you get a drone close to the uh, sensor, LEDs will start lighting up. But as you go away to another flag, the LEDs will start counting down. And they're quite, counting down quite fast, but that's just because of the difficulty uh, that it's set. And I'll show you guys how to change it as well. So when it finishes, it'll show you the points that you got in the game, which were very low, just uh, two LEDs, because you just stayed, you captured the whole thing, but then uh you kind of lost because it didn't come back to recapture it again uh, and you will have uh, i think that the full time is two minutes to uh to do this but uh because the leds ran out you lost this flag at least uh so the objective of single player would be to put several flags in uh, in your house and then run through them trying not to let them get captured uh, red will show you that you lost, but if you happen to make it through the whole timer, then it will show you the, uh, I think it's a yellow color, uh, indicating that you managed to save the flag and how many points you got. So, as you saw now, uh, it displayed the score for a little bit, and then it reset, and now it's ready to play game two. So, so far, it's pretty much uh, the same uh, capture the flag as I had before, but uh, there, there are uh, quite a few differences. But the coolest thing now is that I implemented a little button, uh, and again, all of this documentation is on GitHub, uh, so you can see exactly how you plug this in, and it's inexpensive, uh, it's 0 0.25 pounds or, or even a uh, lower price than that. So this button does the whole configuration as you have in the code, uh, but by the press of a button. So for example, if let's say that you, you configure the code to do single player mode, as we have here with a set um, difficulty, but if you wanted to change it without going to the code, now you can, that's what the button is for. So if you press it, if you just press it once, if it's in this mode, nothing is going to happen. But if you press and hold for 1.2 seconds, then it's going to go to a specific menu, which is RSSI calibration. Uh, so let me. So this is like a quick 
edit uh, if you would if you press and hold the button uh, the, the little button here on the side for just a, a second and a half you'll go to the quick configuration which is RSSI and after this menu uh, you can also set the time that the game runs on so RSSI how does it work quite simple you plug your drone in and you can see that a little LED uh, was recognized. That's because this drone is in the frequency in the frequency that this was set primarily. But don't worry, we can all we can change all of that. Uh, so red means that it's recognizing that the drone is close by, and I think I'm putting the drone quite far away, but it's still detecting it. So we can recalibrate it by pressing once on the button and it checks the RSSI and it will show you the RSSI value which is 2 for 200, 240, 50, 253 is in your RSSI and if right now, so if I move the drone a little bit away, is that better? Maybe a little bit, we can run the RSSI again or as many times as we want until we're happy. So 200 and one, two, three, four, five, 250, uh, 253 again. I think that's the maximum SSI. So if I put the drone away now, a little bit away, still recognizing it a little bit. Uh, but if I put it like behind something, then it will not detect it anymore, as you can see now. And when you get close, you see the red, that means that it's within range. So you can use this um, to set up the range of the uh, drone as you would wish it w wish to have the RSSI. Right, the next menu, if I press and hold again for one and a half seconds, it will go into the timer. So the first LED shows blue and then um, the second LED shows uh, purple. Actually, the one underneath the blue is showing purple as well, which means that the timer is two minutes for the purple and a half. Yeah. So if I press once again, it will show me three minutes. If I press once again, it will show me three minutes and a half. If I press once again, it will show me four minutes, four minutes and a half, five minutes, five minutes and a half, six and a half, seven and a half, eight and then it will reset back to one minute. So one minute is the minimum um, amount that I've set the game. I thought I didn't put it 30 seconds because I thought it would just be too short. Uh, so one minute, uh, I found two minutes, two minutes and a half is uh, quite a, a, a good time to, to play whatever type of game you want without killing your battery completely. So two minutes, press and hold. And you'll see that it shows you the mode again, flashes green, it will show you what, uh, oh, <laughs> because the drone was on, it started the game immediately. But it will show you that you're waiting on game two. Uh, so now if we, if we let the game go out, it will reset back into the main menu. So um, if I press and hold for five seconds, You'll go into a different mode, uh, which is, or a different configuration menu, which is more advanced. Uh, and here you're able to calibrate, um, sorry, you're able to change what mode you're currently on. So you can see here we're currently on the single player mode, which is mode 4. Uh, we can play deathmatch, we can play uh, hunt um, hunt the flag, which I managed to re-add back into the game. So I had not enough space before, but I managed to cut a few things short and um, recompile the code in a much better way. So it means that we have the um, hunt uh, game back, and then we go back to no uh, no sorry mode number two, which is uh, the single capture the flag simple capture the flag, which means that if you get close, you'll capture the flag on whatever team this one is. Then you have domination capture the flag, which means that you have to get to the flag and stay near the flag and it will capture slowly. And if another quad from another team gets closer, then you kind of lose that flag and it will go back to where it was uh, before. 
uh, then this is the modes. If I press and hold, it will show me the pilot number that you're currently using for the game. So four, you can set up to eight pilots or just two, for example. And this will change the next menus that you have to action as well. So right now I'm going to choose two two uh, pilots are going to compete in this in this uh, game of domination. Press and hold. Uh, for just a second and a half, it will show you the first pilot. Do you want it to be blue or do you want it to be red? So let's say that the first pilot we want it to be blue and press and hold. Second, uh, yes, second pilot, do you want it to be blue or do you want it to be red? I want it to be red. Press and hold. Oh, actually, sorry, that was the first pilot, so I didn't press enough <laughs> for enough time. So, first pilot, I think we chose red, and then the second pilot is asking us, do you want it to be red or blue? So, we want to go with um, blue, press and hold. Uh, so, the next menu is showing you what frequency you want. And, again, I'm going to put a chart of frequencies as they're allocated here, uh, and what the colors, what do they mean? So, this is... <clears throat> I know that blue is race ban, um, and then one means race ban one. So it means that the first pilot currently is searching for race ban one. So if we go and say, no, I want, uh, not they're sure what the second uh, band is, but I want five. Press and hold. And the se second pilot is race band three, but actually I want it to be race band one. So I just cycle through all the bands. There are five uh, of them. Sorry, there are six of them. Oh, I just went through the race band. Press, 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 press. I think it's not not test one. It's the next one. So blue. Race band one is pilot two, which was red, remember? Press and hold. Then it's gonna ask you to recalibrate the RSSI. And now we can check the RSSI by plugging in the quad. And pressing the RSSI checker. So one, two, you can see right away it bumped up because now it's recognizing the correct frequency. One, two, three, four, four. Five, uh, 250, uh, six. So much bigger now. So if we take it away, it's going to say that the RSSI is gone. There we go. It's basically at arm length. And if I bring it close, it recognizes the RSSI again. All right. Um, so timer and then it's ready to go. But there is one more setting that you can do, and that is if we press and hold the button for 10 seconds or more. So press and hold, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. Uh, I don't think we quite made it, no, because we're in the menu. So let's try that again. Okay, that should be enough. All right, so this mode is the advanced, even more advanced configuration where you can change, for example, the brightness of the LEDs. So I think it's at full brightness now, 120. Again, this you can set in the code. If you press once again, you can see that it reduced to the lowest brightness. And then you can increase it in, uh, I think in tens. Uh, so let's leave it at the lowest for now. Press and hold. Now this next menu is very useful if you have uh, external LEDs that you want to use. So for example, what I normally do is I use this this LEDs if I'm at home, but if I want to go outside, I prefer using maybe like a separate strip. So what you can do is, and this is uh, again inbuilt in the code, you can uh, create a little extension uh, on this module just like I have on this one. So let me show you with the uh, with this prototype that I made before this exactly how it works. I'm just going to connect this LED strip 
here. And then press and hold again for 10 seconds or more. And then we'll access the ultra super special menu. few more seconds and that should be enough so the first mode is brightness and you can cycle through the uh, brightness settings by 10 uh, if you press and hold again it will uh, show you uh, the blue, blue LEDs if you're using the main strip or you'll disconnect and show the if you want to use the external strip so if you press and hold one more time then you can set up how many LEDs you want to use for the external strip and eventually they will cycle through to zero as you can see And press and hold again you'll go to the mode menu and so on and so forth so you can continue the setup um, that you've done from before uh, but now when the game starts so let me just uh, finish this setup uh, mode 4 You will use because you've selected to use just the uh, external LEDs. It will just use the external LEDs. Well, that's all. This all for this uh, video, long video. I hope you uh, enjoyed the description. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you find any bug with the system as well, please let me know. Uh, and enjoy the new version of Capture the Flag. And very soon, we're gonna have something new what's that you ask well you'll have to wait and see see you on the next video